Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Today I am going to the art store to get some new supplies including a new sketchbook which I'm very excited for. I feel every time I get a new sketchbook um, I get super inspired to start working and painting again. I feel it's always like new sketchbook, new beginning. And also going to the cacao shop to have a cup of cacao with Romani who makes the most delicious gluten-free vegan desserts that I've hands down tried my whole life and also going to the library here in town um, to you know see some books I don't know if I'll get anyone I'm not looking for a specific book but I feel that also books are these amazing uh, source of inspiration so maybe something will caught my eye and it's just a whole day of exploring for new inspiration and also spring is uh, right around the corner so I'm super excited to just walk with a little bit less layers and see just enjoy this weather Relocating means discovering new art supply shops and little local nooks. I rarely go out shopping for new art supplies as the ones I have will last forever, but it always feels like treasure hunting when going out to look for something specific. Sometimes getting inspired by a color I never use can be the right spark to start painting something new, fresh, and it may even spark or inviting something different to my art practice. So even though I don't tend to go to the art shop, I love to take my time when I do have to come. There's always the opportunity to find some hidden treasures. We also stopped by the bookshop 
There are a gazillion books I would love to get, but I always dance in between only getting a book I really, really, really feel called to and making an effort to really read everything that we already have at home. Before I keep showing you around Kingston, let me share with you about today's video sponsor, Squarespace. This video is brought to you thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my online shop, my art portfolio, and my email campaigns. Whether you sell physical or digital art, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. It is as simple as uploading a picture of your product, adding a description and a price, and you can even edit your pictures once you've uploaded them, and voila, your new product is ready to go. Squarespace is great if you want to showcase your artwork. Their professional portfolio designs showcase your projects in customizable galleries. You don't have to worry about much, as their image blocks automatically scale or fit your images to ensure they always look right right. If you feel called to try out Squarespace, you can use the code CARUAREVALO to get a sweet discount of your first purchase of a website or domain. The odds that there could be a ceremonial cacao shop in my town are so rare, but yet, here it is. It is funny how even though I drink cacao every day and love coming to the shop, I rarely make time to come in and share a cup of cacao with friends. Maybe this is the reason why coming here feels extra inspiring and it is something I save for very special days.
excited for this one. I've never had a round paper sketch pad. So I think this will bring a lot of inspiration. I can already imagine the, you know, the artwork with the colors all the way to the edges and then having prints, be it with a square paper. I think it will look super pretty. And I'm also imagining it uh, bringing more of that ambience and aesthetic of the microscopic world about how every time that I see through the microscope, everything is round. So I think there's a lot of possibilities of inspiration with this one. I also love that it's pink. I guess this is, this is a cloth to protect the sketchbook, but I'm very excited to open and start trying this one out. I think I'm actually going to start with it right now. Yo tenía mi cuchillito. Yes, it's a bag to protect the sketchbook. And I think I can actually also use it for bulk, which is great. And here it is. I guess you open it here. Oh, it's one of those sketchbooks you can only use one at a time. Open. Ah, por aquí. It's this way. No, is this right? No. Ay, no sé, no tengo paciencia. feel that for the past few months I've had a big creative block. I have been stuck in a project and also felt I was only creating to meet deadlines, which in my experience always kills the whole vibe. So I decided to invite in a little more play into my art practice and for the past few weeks I committed to doing either one to two hours a day every day of sketching in my sketchbooks just to play around. I don't have much footage of this as filming sometimes adds an extra layer of nervousness and I wanted to make this a super personal and fun place like my secret sketches. I feel this gave me permission to just play and forget about the actual outcome so I started by looking at some wildflower books I have and just making sketches from there. Hi, so yesterday you saw me pick up this new sketchbook. It's watercolor paper, 300 grams, which is super thick and beautiful. And what I am doing today is just grabbing some images of inspiration from this book. It's a book about wildflowers from North America. It has very simple drawings, but this is one of my favorite ways to start working and making art when, you know, sometimes I feel a little stuck 
This is one of my favorite ways to start over, either with real life plants or some plants that I have in a book like this one. And also yesterday I got this round one, which was super tricky to open, so I'm not sure if the pages are good at all. And I have a few dried leaves and flowers that I've been collecting for the longest time. So I might be using some of these to play around with today, either on the new sketchbook or sketch block. Um, so let's get ready. Let's get ready to paint. Look at this one. And there's actually one more thing that I wanted to share with you, and that is my super aesthetic chair. Let me show you. <laughs> I mean, talk about sustainability and using things until they tear apart. I was thinking actually of taking all of these out in the next couple of days or weeks and adding some string of some sort to make it work again. The chair, the foundation is still here. What is done is this plastic thingy. Um, so the chair is not going anywhere, but it's just funny because I'm actually using it like these with these cushions in my back and at some point my ass comes out of it. It's, it's just super funny. Okay. For this first page on my sketchbook, I want to continue that playfulness. I feel that when we go through a creative block, it is quite similar to not dancing for a very long time. It is as if our joints would get rusty and we would need to start inviting in the groove one dance move at a time. For me, painting feels just the same. It all starts by just moving my hand inviting in some playfulness and observation until after a couple or a lot of art sessions after trial and error i feel capable of coming back to my creative flow find so much joy and importance in practicing, practicing, and practicing. Not only to become a better observer, to feel more free when making our lines and mixing our colors, but also to pay attention to what it is that is making us feel inspired today. For this painting, I decided to use three colors of gouache as my base and stick to one medium tone, one light tone, and one for the shadow. 
In this way, I don't invite in too many variables and just focus on enjoying the process. Maybe today I could paint an observation from flowers and this can inspire me to create something from my imagination tomorrow. I think that the trick for me is to invite in movement, play, and little by little I forget that I was in a creative blockage in the first place. And I find myself already excited to start a new fresh page of art tomorrow. I've worked on all the gouache and watercolor from my painting of the day and you know the first few lines are a little tricky and I may feel like oh, I'm not gonna do a good job or whatnot but I feel that the more that we keep playing especially I don't know I feel like sketchbooks are the space where we can safely fail at doing something or have it be not beautiful or whatever and little by little we kind of get the groove until we don't need to look at whatever was our inspiration and we can just fly away with whatever we want to do and now that I have all the wash um, and watercolor drawn painted I am going to go ahead add some line work with my black ink pen this is a raw train 0.1. It's my favorite pen ever, if you have not seen my work before. I use these all the time for my line work. They are refillable, re rechargeable, so you just fill ink on the back. And it lasts for as long as you have it. If you clean it, it does need to be cleaned. So let's get some line work done. I think this will be everything that I will be painting today. 